to, to the mums and dads, your children will be well looked after inside when they arrive. They'll be literally ushered. We'll have uh, nurses, we'll have uh, some of the youth command, we'll have uh, some of the young, young police from the, uh, uh, the various uh, operations within police there just to guide them through um, as to where they go. They'll be looked after every moment inside the, uh, the stadium and uh, they'll be well cared for. So mums and dads feel secure. We've got about 24,000 students we're aiming to get through next week. Uh, the messages will come out this week and the opportunity is there, but really you've got to take it, grasp it with both hands. Um, I know uh, if you talk to any of our Olympians, I'll tell you, you've just got to grasp opportunity and this is an opportunity, so don't waste it. mad to many around the world has been normalised here. Like a state premier scolding their constituents for watching a sunset. You know, there's a whole bunch of people down the Rye Back Beach last night who thought the best thing to do was to go and watch the sunset. I'm sure it was a beautiful sunset. But that's not in the spirit or in, or, or in the letter of these rules. We even had Dan Andrews telling people not to enjoy yesterday's beautiful sunshine because you could end up in hospital. Sunday, I think, is going to be quite a nice day. Yep, at home. At home. Otherwise, it'll be lots of Sundays spent in hospital. The alarmist rhetoric of politicians, activists and some public health bureaucrats, together with the relentless media scaremongering, has left the public as scared and hopelessly uninformed about coronavirus in August. Bunch of slack-jawed faggots around here.